Secret of Mana. We play <laughs> we play up near Minneapolis. <laughs> Anus! Help! I'm falling! What an asshole. <laughs> what do you do? You the first cute thing you see. You kill it? You kill it. Pour some sugar uh, on put, Jesus. Put some sugar on Jesus. <laughs> It's like your first foray into like, This is why I don't play a lot. But you know, let's, let's go. Hey, what's happening? Retro oh, replay, everybody. Nolan North, Troy Baker. Got that right. And we have uh, something special that, that you're you put out on Twitter. How so, do we Yeah, so here's what it twenty eight years ago, I started playing a game called Crystalis. Somebody's probably gonna correct me, a Crystalis. Whatever I call it, Crystalis. Okay. Uh, when I was thirteen years old, I I for my birthday, my dad said, Here's what you can do. You can rent a Nintendo, and so I, I rented a Nintendo. You, you got to rent. I one? got to rent one. We didn't buy. I, I didn't know money when I grew up, so we rented a Nintendo, and I could get one game, and I had 24 hours to have the Nintendo in the game. So right. I, I chose Crystalis, and I I played it. And when we started doing this, I I mean I brought up that menu, and instantly with that music and that first like little graphics card came up, I was transported back to being 13 years. It was crazy. And I, over the next week and a half or something, I think every night, I, I put time into that game, and I finally beat it. And it was crazy. And the rental fees were exorbitant. No, because I only had one day. So <laughs> when, I was, when I was 13, it was like I had to give up that game All right. on level six or whatever I was. And for 28 years, I've, the frustration you felt with Spider-Man Ugh, I don't want to talk about Spider-Man. 28 years, 28 years sitting in that. Maybe that's why I'm doing what I do. So I finally beat this game. And it was, it was a cool thing. Like I, to see that end credit sequence come up and to know just the, the same way that you felt when you finally figured out how to swing his body over and defuse that bomb. Right. I finally got that, but like on a, on a <laughs> much so larger scale. So tell everybody what we're playing today. So I asked everybody, what do you think that we should play next? Right. And there was, a flurry of suggestions that came in. The one that kept repeating was a game I had never heard of before. Secret of Mana. Mana. Se Secret of Mana. Not Mana. Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. We play <laughs> We play up near Minneapolis there, now. There, so we're going to play that game. There's oh, yeah. Secret of, yeah. Secret, okay, Secret, Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. I can, so I, I want to, I, I, I kind of delved into this game a little bit, but the thing that I loved the most is how it opens. Please, if you will, narrate this. Okay. <clears throat> Darkness sweeps the troubled land. As Mana's power fades, people await a hero who will wield the sword, Excalibur. Herald, Gigas, the blade has had many names. Phil, Steve, Aaron, for it has been celebrated in myths and legends throughout time. But all of these speak to just one weapon, the sword of Mana. That's good. Now, that's that's enough setup. Or we're gonna do we're gonna do a new game first. Yeah, let's just yeah okay. jump into. I would like for you to choose a, a highly offensive name. Anus. Anus. Love it. Boy, that came to you too quickly. With two ends. Anus. Anus. No. Oh, that's it. A N O O S E. Anus. Let's go with anus. Let's go. Let's just go with anus. Sure. There we are. Using the power of mana, in time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the mana fortress, right? That's enough setup, right? No, this, no. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. Got it. So I'm going to start playing the game. No, oh. a violent war rocked the world. Mana seemed to disappear. Got it. So I'm ready to play. Okay, and here we then go. Here we go. Oh. oh no, before all was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Smashed the fort. Got it. So I'm, oh, no. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. Got it. Uh, but time flows like a river, and history repeats, right? <laughs> it's. <laughs> That's gotta be it. <laughs> the coolest fly. I can see this being pitched. No, then we do like this really cool flyover. Wow, did you see that? That was... But it's the shake, it was definitely a helicopter. Anus! Hey guys, wait up. Yeah. Uh, shh, be quiet. The elder would be furious if he finds out we went up here alone. <laughs> this... You know where we're going. This has 
dirty all Timothy. over Timothy. Yeah, what? haven't you heard the stories about this place? There's a ghost around. That's what they call a pedophile in the huh, night. Did you really believe that ghost story last night? The adults just said that to scare us. But I did hear Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That may be important later on. Maybe. That, that must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. <laughs> Anus, <laughs> help, I'm falling. What an asshole. And they leave. Wow. <laughs> they they left. leave. Our friend just oh, plummeted and to this now, look, he, now he's a wet anus. So this is is really about a game. It's an explo exploration game. It's kind of in that anus, anus, anus. <laughs> is that a whispering anus? Yes. It's like a quiet. <laughs> oh wait, what's this? Anus, what did you say? I found. <laughs> I found the bridge. Anus, why your breath so stinky? The village is this way. I have to find something. To, I don't know what anus sounds like. So the village is this way. I've had to find something to cut through. So so now we're looking for some. Oh oh! Look at that. So we find a sword. There's the sword in the Anus, sword. remove the sword. Oh, this is. Who are you? And what's this sword doing here? Erg. Oh, that's that's. Erg. Oh, that light's so bright I can't see. So the anus pulled the sword from the stone. Ah, it's a ghost! Oh, uh, no, it's a g g g ghost Joinks? Anus, <laughs> it is I who I asked. It is I. Now, I chose a Scooby. far worse name when I played. Say what? You mean this sword? And a bright explosion. So, you're a gardener. You know, what I find hilarious is that this game is all about how technology you know, just destroyed Mother Earth. And the first thing you do when you get this sword. You go out and you. You, you just obliterate everything that you see. So I'm gonna cross over here. Anus hates the, the Brazilian rainforest. And we just, just mow down like the imperialists that we are with reckless abandon and no thought at all for our carbon footprint or our ecological impact. <sighs> This what is it, what, this you, is the game. I'm what, doing I'm doing it. I'm doing the game. <clears throat> oh, what's Whoa, a rabbi? A, this cute, rab adorable little thing. What's what? a rabbi doing in a place like this? A you know, rabbi? what's a mystical, whimsical creature doing in a wonderful forest? Look, he's cute. I should just do what are you doing? This is what you have to do. They serve no other purpose than to just be killed by you. And but when they're you, cute, you don't, you just, I know. That's what's hilarious to me about this game. I'm I'm not trashing it at all. I'm just saying, what do you do? You The first cute thing you see... You kill it? You kill it. This is so of mice and men. <laughs> Tell me about the rabbits, George. <laughs> you gotta kill them, Lanny. So... Oh, that one's trying to get away! Now I want you to kill it. Now what you want to kill it? What's wrong with me? Why would I do that? Why did they make... Why would the designers make them so cute? They, I like the cute... They're not like evil. There's no horns. It's not blood. They remind me of like the South Park, like the woodland creatures. <laughs> 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 They're like so adorable. Oh, Let's see. Okay. I want to kill right, go, I want to kill Go for it. God, that was just awful. The man. mark of a social uh, path. Go for hey, it. Hey, oh, hey, 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 you tried to bite me. Ooh. Suddenly, oh. suddenly I'm Gary Busey. Hey, uh, you ever, uh, you ever kill a rabbit? My angry little anus. <laughs> the angry little anus. Anus reaches level two. <laughs> the angry anus. The worst title of a Judy Bloom novel ever. <laughs> the angry My little angry anus. My angry anus. <laughs> now we're in a village. Oh. All right. So, so you just go up and interact with them that way. Right. Nice. Hey, anus, stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. Oh, anus. Look at this guy. Get out of my bar! Get out of my bar! Go this way, go this way! Hey, 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 what's your name? What is he? What is hey he there. taming a snake? Hi there. Hi. What, look at that guy. That guy's, do you want to come in the bushes? All right, I gotta find. Huh? Hey. Oh, so I have a rusty sword. Oh, yeah, right. that's what they call it. <laughs> He's like, would you like a I rusty be able trombone? To, talk to people for some Google reason. it, kids. Add social is this skills. a prostitute? Is this a brothel? No. This oh, is a brothel. Oh boy, they just getting around to the fact that he has a massive sword now? Yeah, cool, did you find the treasure? Way to go, now they're my friends. Uh, because you have something they want. Yes. These guys, Timothy and Elliot, I bet, I bet these guys grow up to like run a soft serve. Earthquake! Okay, is it really an earthquake or, is, or am, I, am I having a stroke? You're having a stroke. Oh, and the ground opens up. Oh, look at it, Elliot, swallow and anus. Elliot and anus got swallowed into an anus hole. Anus, unconscious. 
Oh, an unconscious anus. The best kind. What? Yeesh. Acid, Acid breath. breath? You need to move, dude. Dude! Hang on. Hang on, I'll help you. Are you gonna come down and help, you punk? Yeah, how about you do that, Mr. Knight? Oh, you did it, you did it. Way to go. Now look look at him down there. This kid is still going. He's like, if I'm going out, I'm going out in a horny fashion. <laughs> look at it. I bet this, what do you bet there's like that kid got kicked out of camp for doing push-ups over gopher holes? <laughs> look, look at it. Look at him. He's, already, he's like, yeah, 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 get it, get it. Get it, Elliot. Yeah, get it, Elliot, get it, boy. <laughs> that was, Why? that joke was inspired by what? Elliot's still a, crying uh, like a little bitch. A camp, uh, camp I went happened? to when I was 13. Wait, 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 wait. So did you like spend summer camp? Uh, pause. Did you like, was that your thing? Did you like do the summer camp every year? That Was that your thing? Uh, it was, the plan was I was going to go every year and I went to a, a camp in New England, beautiful camp, whatever, and my parents put me, they said, oh, well, our friend's kids are going to go too. And it was, the, it was absolute nightmare. I'll never forget, I slept on the top bunk. This kid wets his bunk one night next to mine at the top, blames it on me. Says he probably got an erection, he peed across. And these morons believed him. I almost lost it on that one. That's a real thing, this is a real story. I'm not making this he up. probably got an erection and had uh, yeah. urinated with such velocity yeah. that it hit and soaked, was able to sustain that pressure and height for that long. Which I probably could. <laughs> You know, even at that age, it was impressive. I went to like church camp. All right, so. Oh, my wife did that. Yeah, so you, she, you, Texas you understand, church camp. for, first of all, it's in August. So if they're pushing like the hellfire and brimstone, the context is really selling that imagery. Because uh, it's just swelteringly hot. And it, it, it's the strangest thing because you're 12, 13, you're, you're awkward and you're learning about your identity and everything is just, constantly in flux. This is the 80s, this is what you did. You just, you kind of oh, yeah. got beat up and your parents <clears throat> abandoned you. We had this guy, the, the guy that like ran the camp was this really cool dude. Uh, man, I can't remember his name. He, between like two of the volleyball posts or, or between like two really anchored deep holes, took surgical tubing and created the world, at that point, the world's largest and deadliest water balloon launcher. It was in the middle <laughs> of the campus. Deadliest. We would be all the way, like like three football fields down by the, the swimming pool. And we'd just be hanging out. I was like, yeah, it's such a good time. And you would literally hear it like, and back, it would explode you. My sister got hit. Balloons from uh, Jesus. I mean, and you started wondering, he's like, because you'd be like, You're listening so, to that Def Leppard again, aren't you? <laughs> the man has one, the drummer has one arm like for a reason. Bomb, bomb, bam. <clears throat> Pour some sugar uh, on put, Jesus. Put some sugar on Jesus. <laughs> and we did that every summer. No, I spent the two weeks in my camp, like, with a spoon trying to <laughs> dig a tunnel <laughs> into the next state. Uh, yours was more like <clears throat> the great escape, but. It was. You were more Except like there was uh, no Steve McQueen. There was but no there Steve were, McQueen. But there were Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping to find and retrieve the Mana Sword myself. Oh well, isn't that convenient? Oh yeah. By the way, we're you've back been to, here the entire we're time. Back to Secret of Mana. Secret of Mana. I won't You're... force you into it. All I I, I won't force oh, you into it. You never want to force anything into anus. <laughs> uh, Ever. Uh, Ever. By the way, I uh, ask. a little side note. Um, you can check this out on WebMD. That is one to grow on. I have a I have a friend who's a I have a friend who's a, a doctor, and uh, they have found things. They have found some some things in, in anuses. Hold on, because the problem is if God. anything too big gets in there, when it comes back okay, out, it's no, like no, no, a, no, we're gonna... it's like a wizard sleeve, and it's awful. You don't want it's like it's like skin in a snake. Just you know, one to, one one from Uncle Noli for you. <laughs> he learned something today. Here's the thing. Nope. You gotta. Keep things out of your ass. <laughs> I took you in and raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Why? Why? Because I felt my friends pushed me off a log. My friends, in quotes, that is. Yeah, Timothy and Elliot, not good people. Please forgive me. Hey, no. I'm a, can I pull out the rusty sword and jam it up I his anus? I know I've told you this before. I know I've told you this before, but your mother brought you to this village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. 
I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye. Wait, anus. Wait, she's alive? And now we're on an adventure. So that's Secret of Mana. Yeah? That's Secret of Mana. Is that the secret? No. The secret is... That you're still thinking about Spider-Man. Yes. <laughs> you can see it in your eyes. Yes, I don't know what happened. What are we playing next? I don't know, we don't play this.